Welcome, in this video we'll be looking at the solutions to our electric circuit problem. First of all, before you have a go at this, make certain you have in fact had a look at the first practical activity. Um, here's a link to the electric circuit activity that was set earlier. So, for each particular circuit you're required to design a circuit and construct the circuit using the FET circuit simulator. And from there you can video and test that each circuit does in fact what it's meant to do. So let's have a look at our first circuit. Circuit A, and the task was you had to design a circuit with one switch which switches on one light. Circuit A, one switch, one globe. Circuit B, option A series, one switch which switches on two light globes. One switch, two light globes. Circuit B, option B parallel, one switch which switches on two light globes. Circuit C, two switches which switch on two lights. One switch switches on one light globe and the other switch switches on the other light globe. One for one and one for the other. Circuit D, two switches and both need to be pressed to turn on a light. Switch one and switch two, both need to be pressed to turn on the light. Circuit E, two lights, one stays on all the time, the other can be switched on and off. One stays on all the time, on and off. Circuit F, two switches and three light globes. One switch switches on one light globe and the other switch switches on two different light globes. One switch for one and the other for two. Circuit G, three switches and if any one of them is pressed, the light globe turns on. Switch one, switch two, and switch three. Circuit H, three lights, one stays on all the time and two can be switched on and off independently of one another. One stays on all the time and two can be switched on and off independently of one another. On and off, on and off. Circuit I, two switches, two lights. One switch switches on one light globe and the other switch switches on both light globes. If we close the bottom switch, one globe goes on. If we close the top switch, two globes go on. Finally, circuit J, a bonus question. Two lights, three switches. One master switch needs to be pressed for everything else to work, like the switch in your meter box at home. The other two switches switch on two different light globes which operate independently of one another. So nothing happens with the two independents. Master switch on, this one works, this one works. There were of course many other variations of circuits that could have been combined for those 10 different activities. Um, I'd like to see some of your original ideas. Anyway, thanks for trying that, something a little bit different. If you enjoyed, please like, share, comment and subscribe and always thanks for watching.